Nicaragua, a country plagued with poverty and political division, is one of the poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere. But the beautiful country of Nicaragua is also a hidden gem full of natural beauty, mystery, and wonder. The nation has many things to see and do. Such as the recently developed extreme sport known as volcano boarding. Ancient ruins that date back to the Spanish colonization period. A lot of untouched lands and rainforest. And lots and lots of life. Here we see the guide of El Chocoyero National Park explaining the thousands of bird species. Nicaragua's love-hate relationship with the endangered sea turtles is evident with a trip to any market. The lovely sea turtles are portrayed on vases, paintings, keychains, and many other souvenir objects. But the dark reality is that the Nicaraguan people also sell products made from the turtles and their shells. Jewelry from the shell of the hawksbill turtle, known as gare, is very popular to tourists and natives alike. The eggs and the meat of adult sea turtles are eaten by the natives, making the already endangered turtles more vulnerable than ever. Noel Suarez is the vice president of the organization Estrella del Pacifico de Poneloya a group who prides themselves on protecting the sea turtles that come to lay their eggs on the beach of Poneloya. De protegerla, pero al mismo tiempo sirviéndolo, explotándolo a ella, vendiendo su atracción de ella. Somos un grupo de 16 personas, donde somos una cooperativa que estamos organizada, constituida por el Estado, lo apoya algunas instituciones del Estado, en lo que temas, capacitaciones, ayuda técnica y nosotros lo gusta lo que es la conservación a través de eso nosotros tenemos un periodo de tres años consecutivos donde hemos liberado alrededor de 7.895 tortuguitas de esas muchas especies van van tora torita palama carey iguana tortuga cabezona We meet with Noel, who will guide us on a night tour of the beach, where we hope to find a sea turtle. But 
But first, we climb onto a boat that will take us across a water channel known as La Bocana to the beach on an island known as Los Brasiles, which is fully surrounded by water, mangroves, and marshes. Esperamos que haga su proceso ella 25 minutos que trepa para limpiar, después hace su hoyo y comienza a explosionar. After 45 minutes of walking on the beach, we decide to turn back as there is still no sign of any sea turtles. Not two minutes later, we come across a beautiful olive ridley sea turtle laying her eggs. Noel retrieves the eggs without the mother even noticing, so that he may take them back to a secure beach where they place a guard to watch over the nests and the eggs are protected from poachers. A practice also used on the beaches of India, Costa Rica, Mexico, and many other tropical and subtropical countries where the olive ridleys go to lay their eggs. If we hadn't removed the eggs, a poacher that is nearby would have taken them. He claimed to have walked the beach for 18 kilometers and have found nothing, not a single turtle. However, in the distance, tens of flashlights can be seen looking for turtles. They are the flashlights of poachers. After the turtle has finished laying her eggs, Noel counts them and places them in his backpack to be transported back to the mainland safely. This olive ridley turtle has laid 103 eggs, of which one of those did not make it. Of the 102 eggs saved that night, 96 hatchlings are born 45 days later. Unaware that her eggs have been taken, the turtle begins to put sand onto the hole she dug, so as to finish the nesting process and hide her eggs from danger. The course of hiding her eggs takes the mother turtle approximately another 15 minutes. After almost half an hour, the mother turtle makes her way back to the sea, but she will return one more time within the next three weeks to lay another nest. eso nosotros agarramos huevos, lo traemos a sembrarlo en el vivero, pero eso lleva una, un trabajo que es el cuido. Para sembrar huevos hacemos un, un área de 7 metros cuadrados, de ahí le hacemos una cuadrícula y la sembramos por numeración. Cada, cada cuadrícula, cada nido tiene un número y una letra que es el código, cómo se siembra y cuándo van a ser el partido. Después que se siembra, 45 días para que haya explosiones. Ya explosionando ella, nosotros venimos y llamamos 
la, los turoperadoras, grupos, colegios, que le damos co educación, educación ambiental a los niños, el colegio de primer, primero, segundo y tercero hasta sexto grado. Y lo llevamos para que ellos conozcan y le pongan amor también a lo que nosotros tenemos, porque hay muchos países que no la tienen esta fauna y nosotros somos solteros que tenemos las siete especies que existen en el mundo, la tenemos aquí en Nicaragua ¿eh? y, y más aquí en Poneloya, que habitan bastante. Entonces nosotros lo que hacemos es dar los tours, ¿para qué? Porque somos un grupo, no tenemos dinero, lo, lo apoyan con con lo que es de las capacitaciones y nosotros hacemos, el esfuerzo que nosotros hacemos es poner 100 Córdoba semanal cada uno para, si nosotros no la llamamos y la, la haya otro huevero, nosotros le compramos el huevo y nosotros lo sembramos para hacer ese procedimiento, para que la gente no se vaya al mercado, porque eso es lo que nosotros estamos buscando y buscamos personas, a como le dije, instituciones que lo apoyen, no con dinero, sino que con una canasta básica, porque todos los que mantenemos ahí somos padres de familia, todos tenemos hogar y tenemos, y entonces a veces en ese periodo nosotros dejamos de trabajar cuatro, cuatro meses para dedicarlo a lo que es la, la conservación de la tortuga. Una vez ya terminando la conservación, lo metemos a lo que es la siembra de, del mangle hacia el bosque, ¿eh? para producir, producir semillas y ese, esa conservación es donde viene a recuperarse todo lo que es la fauna marina de toda especie en el estero. Apart from the endangered sea turtle phenomenon occurring on the coasts of Nicaragua, the country has much to offer. The Chocoyero National Park, which is made up of 131 hectares, receives 10,000 to 12,000 visitors a year and is home to thousands of species of birds, plants, and mammals. The islands on Lake Nicaragua house icons and rocks as large as boulders with symbols that were uncovered in the tombs of ancient natives that once roamed the island. Today, the islands are a source of tourism for the country, and the lake is the ecosystem of the sweet-watered sharks. The city of León, which is not far from Poneloya Beach, is becoming a hotspot for backpackers, and right in the city center, the picturesque cathedral can be seen and climbed for a better view of the city. At the end of the day, Nicaragua and its beautiful wildlife is a special reserve that must be protected because by protecting it, we protect the world. These baby olive ridley turtles made it safely to the sea, but their journey has only just begun. Ah, 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 y este amigo con ella quedó. 